YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Dboy352, and I am bringing you some very exciting news today about crossplay. Now, I'm sure that everyone saw the Call of Duty Modern Warfare trailer, and what has me most excited for this game is the fact that it's going to have crossplay enabled between PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. This will mark only the fourth game right now that supports full cross platform. Those games are Fortnite. Dauntless and Rocket League and Fortnite and Rocket League actually go with the Nintendo Switch as well they also have the Nintendo Switch crossplay enabled um, what's really really interesting about this is that Call of Duty is one of the biggest franchises if not the biggest gaming franchise and the fact that they're behind crossplay means that we very well could have crossplay as the new regular, the new norm for next generation consoles, which is absolutely amazing. It's something that we've been waiting for for so long. Now, uh, Candace Capen, who is an Infinity War producer, has said that the way crossplay and Modern Warfare will work will be much like Fortnite's. Um, now, currently, if you if you play cross crossplay and Fortnite, uh, say you're on console and you're playing with somebody on PC you're gonna be matched with people on console and PC as much as they can so it's not just gonna put somebody who's playing on PC with a keyboard and mouse um, in a lobby with a whole bunch of people on, on console and it's gonna work a lot like that in Fortnite as well or I'm sorry in Modern Warfare as well um, which is I think that's gonna be a very a very good starting point um, now they have not said if it is going to have crossplay enabled from launch. Um, we still have, you know, until October 25th before this game launches. So it's it's given a a lot of time for them to work on, and hopefully it will be enabled from launch. And the other thing that I find really exciting about this is that the new Call of Duty is not going to have a season pass. All the uh, post-launch maps and events will actually be free for all players so there's no more I don't have the season pass I didn't I didn't buy this expansion or this expansion you know I can't play that with you guys they're all gonna be included for free which is a huge huge change because um, I I think it was what black ops maybe modern warfare 3 to black ops 2 or maybe even before that um, ever since then we've had some sort of season pass which is something you had to buy separate and then you get the maps you get the all the DLCs so now you're actually gonna get that for free which I think is amazing um, and it's really gonna help keep their player base after launch um, because you're not gonna have people that you know all their friends have the battle pass and they don't have it or one person has a battle pass and nobody else does so you got people that stop playing because they have nobody to play with or you know they're just not enjoying it because they can't play with their friends yada 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 so I think that's really cool um, now even with crossplay enabled they are still gonna be it's still gonna be a PlayStation exclusive so you're still gonna have timed exclusive content on PlayStation 4 first before on Xbox and uh, PC um, but if it's anything like last year's from Black Ops 4, it, it's only going to be a seven day in advance launch. So you're only going to have the content seven days before Xbox One and PC, um, which uh, back when it first started, it was 30 days. So that's going to cut it down as well and help to incorporate more people and encourage more people to play cross platform, which I think is, is a huge step in gaming in general. Now, personally, cross-platform is something that, I mean, I know I've wished that we've had for such a long time because at the end of the day, all you're doing is hurting the consumer. Um, there's no reason that anybody shouldn't be able to play with anybody else on a different platform for a game that is supported on both platforms just because one prefers PlayStation over Xbox or somebody prefers Xbox over PlayStation. You know, so at the end of the day, the only person that these companies are actually affecting are the consumers because you're forced to either not be able to play with somebody on a different console or a different platform 
or you're forced to switch to that platform to be able to play with somebody that you want to be able to play with. So I think this is a, a huge step in the right direction and it's it's something that's been a very long time coming. And that about wraps it up for this one. That's about all I got right now. Uh, I will, anything else I find out, I'll be sure to bring it to you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share with all your friends. And as always, look out for the next one. So until next time, D-Boy out.